Hello friends, in this video we will discuss about webhooks. First we will go through the flow and then we will go through the demo. For our demo purpose we have used webex as the third party application but it can be any other third party application. So when the event is triggered in the third party application, in case of webex it can be meeting created, meeting started, meeting ended, message posted, message deleted. When the event is triggered, the details of the event is sent through the post call to the service law instance and uh, how it knows where to send in the service law instance for that we need to register the webhook. In some third party application, we can register the webhook in the UI of the third party application itself, but we can make the API call as well to register the webhook. So in our case, we'll make an API call from service law to webex with the webhook details like webhook name. Uh, the event to be triggered and the target url and that will be stored in the webex for the future use okay now let's log into developer.webex.com and go to documentation and in the documentation we can go to apis under the apis uh, we can go to meetings and in the meetings we have references and in the references if we scroll down to the bottom we can see webhooks here so now let me just click on webhooks. Now here, here we have different uh, APIs to see the list of webhooks. We can create the webhook. We can get the webhook details and then update a webhook or delete a webhook. Okay. okay. Now if I scroll down here, then we can see uh, the endpoint for the create webhook here. Now let me just control click on it to see the request body. Okay. Now we can see here the content type needed is application or JSON and authorization is bearer and then access token. We know how to get the access token in our last video. We have seen that. So you can go and watch that as well. In the request body, we need to send the name. That is the name of the webhook, the target URL. That is the service no URL where the event details should be sent. And uh, we'll construct this target URL and we'll add it here. And the resource can be uh, like messages, meetings. So we can see the documentation here for the resource and event can be uh, created started so we have the documentation here as well okay so for our example what we'll do is uh, we'll add resource as meeting and event as created so when the uh, meeting is created uh, the webhook will be triggered and it will send the event details to the target url here okay okay now let's register the webhook using the script in the scripts background okay so we'll use rest message v2 okay and then i'll do sm dot set endpoint okay and we know the endpoint. The endpoint is this. Let me just copy this and I'll just paste it here. Okay. And we know the method. So I'll just do sm.set HTTP method and that is post. Okay. And then uh, we know the content type that is sm.set request header. Okay. And the content type that should be application or json okay. okay then we need to pass the authorization in the request header as well so i'll do sm dot set request header okay then authorization and then we need to do bearer okay and then space plus uh, we have stored uh, the access token in the system property uh, you can go and watch the previous video how we have stored that so let me just open the system properties for that what i'll do i'll use snutils p command so slash p i'll do control enter that will open it in a new tab and in the description i'll just search for webex okay now we have this so this is our access token property and this is the access token and i'll just use that access token here okay and then we need to send the request body for that i'll do sm dot set request request body and uh, the request body should be a stringified one so we'll do json dot stringify and then uh, we need to pass the name first right so we have seen it here the name okay name is required so this is webhook name so we'll give test webhook okay and then uh, we need target url but we don't have the target url right so for that what we'll do is we'll go to scripted rest api and we'll create a new target uh, url okay scripted rest apis okay and we already created one scripted rest api called service now universe under that we created the redirect url to get the auth code now we'll create one more
okay we can give it any name i'll just give it as webhook okay and i'll give the relative path also as webhook okay and here uh, we'll get the event details okay so what we'll do is we'll just simply print it okay js.info i'll do uh, json dot stringify and that comes as the request body right so that will be there in request dot body dot data okay and we'll add one more info as well gs dot info will say webhook triggered okay so we'll see this and now let me just save this okay now our target url is this instance url plus uh, this resource path okay and we'll remove this double slash okay and then we need to send the resource okay so for our case the resource will take it as meetings okay and we can see uh, the resources here okay so that is meetings okay and we'll add event as well event and we say event is created so we are uh, registering this webhook for a meeting created event okay when the meeting is created the event detail will be sent to this target url okay now let's execute this variable response is equal to sm dot execute okay now just uh, i'll add info to print the status code Just dot info response dot get body. Okay, now let me just run this. Okay, so now we can see the webhook is registered. Okay, and this is the ID of the webhook, and this is the name of the webhook, and this is the target URL we have passed. So resource and the event is also added here. Okay, now this ID is very very important. If we need this in future, then we we can store this in our service now. Because uh, if we go back here, then if we want to update a webhook, then we need the webhook ID. Okay, so for that we need to uh, store this ID uh, if we want to update the webhook in some time. Okay, and if you want to delete the webhook, then also we need the webhook ID. Okay, then also we need the webhook ID here. So for that, uh, we need to store this ID. But for now, our demo purpose, we will not store this. But our webhook is registered now. Okay, now let's go back to the target URL. Uh, we have missed here something like this HTTP method should be post because uh, when the event is triggered, it makes a post call uh, to the target URL. That's why this should be post. And uh, here uh, we have added requires authentication. So uh, we are not provided any username password for the webhook to be triggered. So we'll just uncheck this okay, and we'll make this public URL. Okay. But in uh, some cases, when we uh, register the webhook, it asks for the username and password in some third party applications to make the API call secure. Okay. Now uh, we have made this post and we have removed the authorization as well. So when we trigger the event on the WebEx, then we should get details here. Okay. Okay, now let's go to webex.com and sign in. Okay, now we'll schedule a meeting. It's nothing but we are creating a meeting. Okay, so I'll say test meeting 24 slash 0901. Okay, and we'll set the time here as well. So I'll set the time. Okay, and I'll just click on schedule. Okay, now we have created the meeting here that should trigger the webhook and that should send the detail back to the service. Now. Okay, now let's go to uh, service now and see uh, if the details are received or not. Okay, now we are in the logs. Let me just refresh the log. Okay, now we can see the webhook is triggered uh, and we have the uh, details here. Okay, and this is the webhook ID, uh, the webhook name we have. We have the webhook name and the target URL, the resources meetings, uh, the event is created. And in the data, we have the ID of the meeting uh, created and we have the meeting number here. OK, so this is how uh, we can register the webhooks and uh, we can get the data from the third party application to service now. OK, and now we have done it for uh, when the meeting is created. So now we can do it for meeting started by just changing 
the event to start it okay so when the meeting is started that time we'll get the details of the meeting started in the service now instance okay and we can just do meeting and date as well okay and we can change this to messages okay uh, the resource if the resource is messages then we can save delete it so this is how we can register the webhooks and get the data back in the service now i hope you like this video if you like this video then please hit the thumb icon and share the video with your friends and for more videos like this subscribe the channel thank you